Since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, many countries have faced a crisis of the medical system collapse. Malaysia is no exception. An infection biology PhD thinks that to prevent Malaysia's medical system from collapsing, people can follow government's pandemic prevention measures. According to the World Health Organization, sanitation system serves six functions. The first one is to deliver service. The second one is human resource. The third is information system. The fourth is medicine. While the fifth one is finance, followed by leadership management. They are in fact complementary. The public needs an affordable medical system to ensure that when unexpected illness strike, they can obtain timely and reasonable resources. This is especially true when COVID-19 struck. Since COVID-19 pandemic struck in December of 2019, medical systems in Italy, France, Germany, and many other countries have collapsed. Infection biology PhD Lim Ching Han thinks that when frontline medical staff is short-staffed and there's a lack of medical resources, that means the medical system is beginning to collapse. As we all know, a country's medical system has limited resources. It means that the local infected patient's number must be under control. When COVID-19 patients take up too much resources, what should we do with other patients and illnesses? So what will collapse first is the delivery of service, human resource, followed by leadership and management. In Malaysia, the first wave and second wave of pandemic include 22 and 10,145 confirmed cases. The ongoing third wave of pandemic has more than 50,000 confirmed cases already. Due to the high number of confirmed cases, Malaysia's medical system is facing a big challenge. If the medical system collapses, people in international society will lose confidence in Malaysia. <laughs> When medical system collapses and patients cannot enjoy normal medical services, patients' condition will worsen and there might be deaths. Then, people will lose confidence in the government's ability to handle the pandemic. Then less people will be willing to obey the government's pandemic prevention measures. As a result, more people will get infected, starting a vicious cycle. I think it's a man-made disaster and the result is like the casualties caused by wars. To deal with the crisis, Minister of Health Noor Hisham Abdullah has called on all medical staff who meet the following requirements to sign up as volunteers to help the Minister of Health to fight the pandemic. Many members of the public have also left messages saying that although they do not have the medical backgrounds, they are willing to help frontline medical personnel fight the third wave of pandemic. However, if we follow the pandemic prevention measures, we can stop the virus from spreading and therefore fight the pandemic. If people really want to help the government's medical system, they must accept the correct medical information and knowledge and prevent themselves from getting infected. If they get infected, they will use the limited medical resources. Medical system is the front line for fighting the virus, so we must follow pandemic prevention measures in an effort to prevent infections. This is the best way to support the medical personnel.